Hello, this is Lady B, the Queen of Wellness. I come before you once again with a new session. And before we get started, we know how we do it. We're going to do a meditation and our breathing. So let's get started right now. Breathe in. Bringing your arms up. Slowly. Holding our breath in. And letting it out, bringing our arms down. Side by side with our shoulders back. Once again, we're going to bring our arms up in mid air. Pulling it in for a moment, our breathing. And we're going to let it out right now. One more time. Bring your arms up high. Pull in your breath in for a moment. And we're going to bring our arms down. We're letting the air out. We're going to release all the valleys that we went through today. We're going to center ourselves as we open our eyes and we're going to center ourselves to the universe, which is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And let's get started with the session. And the title of it is Situations Bring About Change. And David, he rejoiced because of God's protection. And peace. He encouraged others to trust God. God said, We can place our confidence in our everyday life situation. Lessons to the whispering echo within your presence right now. This lesson. There's a story I like to share with you now and in August of 1930 40 year old Joseph Carter he waved goodbye to friends after an evening meal in a New York restaurant flagged down a taxi cab and he rode off he was never seen or heard from anyone again a search of his apartment revealed one clue. It was a note attached to a check, and both was left for his wife. The check was for a sizable amount, and the note simply read, I am very weary. Love, Joseph. The note could have been nothing more than a thought at the end of a hard day's work, or it could have meant a great deal more a man's de desperation, weariness got tough. I don't mean the physical weariness that comes with mourning, alarm, or mental weariness that flows or follow a hard day of decision and thinking. No, the weariness that attached judgment that Carter is much more worse than that is the weariness that came just before you give up and that feeling of honest desperation seems to no end to find a way to find a way to recover a stillness for the situation to be quiet and heard and so you see the despired father the abandoned child or the retiree 
with time on their hands. It's that stage in life when motivation, it disappears. The children grows up, a job is lost, a wife dies, a breakup in a relationship, and the result, weary, deep loneliness, frustration about our life. It can go on and on. Only one main history is left has claimed to have the answer for this. He stood, he stands before all of Joseph's Carters of the world with the same promises, and that is Jesus Christ. He manifested the promise to us all in the good and in the bad times. He says to you, come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And Matthews 11:28. Ask God for a new sense of joy and of love. And when tension mourn up your way, take a break and pause to thank God for his love. God knows your needs before you ask. Learn a new way in the approach to the wellness. Don't panic in your everyday life. This is the first sign you are heading for a disaster. God already knows your every need. Trust in Him and stop trusting in the things in this life that is making you sick, living. It is not living inside of a dark cloud. It is taking one step in each life that we are given and that is for right now, for the moment. Events are turning into positive forces if we allow it through the wellness. We can change that approach and we can change in our valleys that we go through from day to day. We can look up to the universe and we can look up to the radar. We can look inside of closed dark tunnels and we can see the waves are moving about out from the ocean and is stirring us back into a centerness where we can relate when the spirit is speaking to us. We all can relate to Joseph Carter's story. Times and time we can feel so humongous about situations of life and experiences that come to us but yet we can either take it in a good way or we can take it in a bad way we can use it for a growth or we can use it to build tools in order to help someone else get through as Joe Carter did we are only temporarily and each time that it comes before us of dealing with anything that is presenting before us, you can have it and you can be in one of it if you just be believe. It says in the Bible, in Hebrews 11, Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Is this uh, affirmation that I have in my home that I use it whenever I feel a sudden tunnel comes before me, a sudden unreality that presents me and I feel a little bit discomfort. It's called peace be still. How would you know peace? If you allow things to take you off track in what you have felt right at the time when you felt that quietness, that 
closeness and that contentment and all of a sudden you felt this uneasiness it felt like something that you could not even describe and that's what how surprises come about us and it says peace be still peace it is like a rock peace is so still that even if the earth shook even if a robber tried to pick the rock up that rock it will not move even when he pick it up it won't break and it won't crack because that rock the rock it is built on solid ground which is when it was built from within it kept all the fiber that was all around it it never lost its way so this situation of the unknown that we experience from day to day situations bring about a change so let the story of David be a resolution to you that no matter what you experience in life, that God is with you. God is always there. And just keep looking up and letting the Spirit take hold and bring you what you need today and every day. This is Lady B the queen of wellness. I'm going to leave you for now, but never forever. Do not forget to subscribe to my page. Give me a comment or a view, and I will see you soon. Much love. Goodbye now.